Hey everyone, what's going on? Greg here again from TM Blast. I want to share a pretty advanced SEO strategy that I do for my own websites, even for my uh, clients as well, if they're open to log file analysis. So what I did was I exported out the logs um, for TM Blast, and this is from November 13th through the 12th. So today is actually the 18th, so I'm looking at old logs. I want to kind of explain why I'm doing this. So the first thing I want to do is see how Google Bot is crawling the website. Um, you can also change this to BingBot2 and Yandex and Baidu, but uh, for me, I'm a little concerned about how Google is taking a lot longer to index certain pages. I can see within Search Console that they have discovered or crawled the page, but they're not necessarily indexing them. So I'm gonna kind of explain how you can use log file analysis to figure out sort of what to do next. So what I'd like to do here is I'll move my screen over. I'd like to go to the response code section. And I like the hierarchy view uh, here. You can change it to a list view, but I prefer the hierarchy view because I want to see kind of how Googlebot is crawling through my entire website. So the first thing I'm going to do is look for my four pages that really matter to me to get Googlebot to crawl them. So for me, for example, it's going to be my services pages. Uh, so if I open up this over here, this triangle, now I got free SEO audit, New York local SEO. The thing that I care most about is this 14 number. So this is the number of unique events that took place for Googlebot between November 13th and uh, December 12th to crawl. You can go to events over here and you can see exactly uh, the dates of which Googlebot now has crawled this page. Um, and the way I always explain this is, think of like a like a, a saw timer. That's how much time Google has to crawl through your entire website. So you have a lot of waste, like four fours, or in my opinion, a lot of bloat. Uh, you're kind of wasting Google's time. So I'm gonna kind of explain what that looks like. So. I can see here that they're crawling these pages. That's great. I have these secondary pages that I've you know, recently created, insurance, SEO, SEO for doctors. Um, they're not being crawled as much as you can see as like my New York local SEO page. So again, if I'm looking at the number of events, um, you can see it went from 14 to 10 to like three or two. And what happens is that Google needs to visit a page multiple times to uh, discover it, to crawl it, to render the JavaScript, to then eventually put it into their index, and then eventually, if it's worthy enough, to then rank it. And you can see how, if you're only getting crawled like twice in almost like 30 days, you're not really getting far in this. So this is what I did. I exported out all of the URLs that Google has crawled. I put them into a pivot table. So the raw, the law, uh, the raw um, Excel files right here with everything. I'll move my screen a little bit so you can see it better. I'm looking at a number of events. So again, I have it by um, how Googlebot has crawled these pages. So the first thing I did was I put them into a pivot table and I and I uh, broke it down by the blog. So the blog has a total of, if I scroll down to the bottom, you can see 266 unique events that took place over 30 days. I'm gonna go back into uh, the URL's all log file and I'm gonna go and I'm gonna sum up the entire column and that comes out to 893. So 200 plus out of 893 all came from the blog. The blog itself for TM Blast is really not that important because I have a lot of legacy content back from 2015 where I was just writing about anything essentially um, that Google is actually wasting their time crawling. There's no value to these pages. So if I go back into my log files, I'm going to go back to my blog, show you kind of what I mean. So I have like these fun pages here. You know, this was an example of calling use Bing Maps. This is something I wrote back um, a long time ago. And it was essentially me showing how you can map out an entire day using Bing Maps by breaking down all the locations you want to visit. And basically you can draw a map. It has no value. I just thought it was really fun to write about, but I can see that Google is wasting their time crawling this page. I have other ones too. I have things around uh, YouTube. I have things around um, PPC, which I don't offer anymore. But you can see how, how when you start to go through this, you can get an idea that uh, 200 plus out of 893 are now being dedicated to the blog. I'm wasting Google's time. So when they come to my site, they're looking at signals like my um, XML sitemap, my HTML sitemap, and I'm kind of just saying, hey, crawl everything. And they only have, let's say, 20 seconds to look at everything, and then they kind of get sidetracked by a lot of these blog posts, and then ultimately they don't um, crawl what I need to do. So I want to kind of explain what I'm doing first. So one of the things that I'm... Google Search Console got rid of this feature. I think it's really bad that they did. Uh, they had a section where you can test your robots.txe file. Uh, they got rid of it. Uh, you can ask the Search Console team why they did that. 
uh, but the Bing team is keeping that as a feature. So basically this is really helpful because when you do log file analysis, you can see kind of where extra, uh, extra crawls being wasted. So when I went back into log file analysis, and I'm gonna to go to the list view so you can see this a little bit easier. I saw over here WP content plugin social icons widget. I can see that it's being um, crawled a lot by Google. So what I did was I went back into Bing Webmaster Tools and I said, okay, I'm gonna put this page or this URL in here. And then what I did was I didn't have this disallow. So when I had did a test within Bing bot, I could see that Bing would crawl this page. When I put the disallow rule back into as a test, I hit test again now it's blocked now this is important for me because there's really no reason for google bot and even bing and baidu and yandex and all that to even crawl this it's a waste of their time so again i'm looking at it from 893 unique events 200 plus for a lot of blog posts that really have no value now i'm looking at my wp content and saying okay is 10 percent of the crawl budget now going to these wasted plugins that i have things like social media icons um maybe my uh trust index uh, plug in anything like that that doesn't need to be necessarily crawled and can actually be blocked within the robots.txt file. So I share all this basically because if you're having a hard time getting your content indexed by Google and you can see within your Google Search Console report that um, pages are being crawled or discovered but they're not being indexed, you can go into your log files and you can get that by going to your cPanel if you need any assistance. You can either leave a comment in the comment section here or simply just ask your uh, hosting provider or webmaster how to get that. Then you can extract that log and put it into log file analyzer. It's gonna show you exactly where Googlebot is crawling and more importantly, where they're wasting their time. Then you can go into your, your site for me, for example, it's WordPress. I got rid of um, about like 100 or so irrelevant blog posts, things I've written back in 2015 because now I'm, I'm trashing those pages and I'm removing them from my HTML sitemap and my XML sitemap. And I'm really forcing Google when they come to my site in the future to only look at my four pages, look at only recent blog posts that actually matter and only crawl my, my four pages that I'm trying to rank. Don't waste your time crawling a bunch of blog posts. And also I'm gonna be updating my robots.txt file to block um, you know, Google and Bing from looking at any irrelevant uh, plugins, because again, like that's wasting their time. So I'll do another follow-up video so I can kind of show the uh, before and after, but I really wanted to record this video to explain my thought process. So let me know if you guys have any questions. And as always, have a good rest of your day.